On behalf of the United States Army Military Police School, I'd like to wish you a happy 75th birthday. This diamond anniversary could not be possible without the great sacrifices of our soldiers and our Department of the Army civilians serving in our formations across the world. So the theme this year is from the Marsh Chasse to the military police of today. Of course, you can go throughout history what the military police have done. We've been a military police corps for 75 years, uh, which means we deliver some capability to the Army that the Army desires. And uh, it started from uh, rudimentary uh, law enforcement to some very advanced techniques that we use today. Uh, we're making sure that our soldiers are able to be able to serve in a variety of capacities across our core competencies in military police, whether that's policing, corrections, or uh, investigations. When we talk about being uh, adaptive and flexible, um, our military police corps is truly that. We can go from handing out tickets in a purely law enforcement capacity to operating in the operational environment, uh, conducting humanitarian operations, as well as any of those other policing operations that we have to do that help contribute to the Army. There is no other force, I will tell you now, that's better in operating in the human domain than military police. That people should care about the MP community because uh, we're, we're, we're growing up and living in a world that's uh, a lot more complex than it used to be. That is one of the greatest skills that MPs have is their ability to deal with people and uh, complex and, and complicated issues. By our actions, we help preserve the fighting force. We allow commanders to help solve problems and, and to be out in front of problems, whether it be just on a routine traffic stop, that we're correcting a deficiency, or we're out securing the installation or anything else. And so at the tip of the spear are our military police soldiers, from the access control to purely law enforcement and policing to force protection, uh, to responding to crisis. That's our military police out there operating every single day. Our force is about 51,000 strong. And when you think about that, that's a very small portion of the Army. It's about 4% of the Army. We are conducting operations all across the world. Our Army is stretched thin. Our National Guard and Reserve component provide extremely valuable expertise. 30 to 40% of our soldiers who serve in the National Guard uh, work in some sort of law enforcement capacity in their civilian uh, job. So that is why we have to make sure that our National Guard and our reserve uh, component are, are critical to our operations. As we look forward to the next 75 years, we will probably make great advances in technology, um, but still again, it will be, you know, police operating those pieces of technology uh, to further enhance our mission and our capability. We're not going to get away from being a professional force that we are. Uh, we're still going to have a huge law enforcement mission. So as we look forward to the next 75 years, uh, I see a lot more collaboration among units. Uh, I see units that are made up of all of our disciplines. Well, as the Army goes, the military police will go. Military police are one of those uh, professions that, that we can kind of do everything um, and will support the Army as they require us and as they ask us. Once again, we'd like to wish you a happy 75th birthday. If your travels allow and you're able to make it to Fort Leonard Wood, we'd like to see you here. If not, we ask that you celebrate at your post camps and stations across the world. Of the troops and for the troops.